Hey crafty cuties, today I am bringing you through my bullet journal slash planner and we're going to do something a little bit different. I wanted to do a little bit of creative journaling in my bullet journal and I did a full review on this planner um, slash bullet journal. It's kind of two in one. Um, if you want to see that, I'll have it linked below. I have a coupon code for it. I think it's still active. But I have been seeing these videos go around YouTube a ton, and I have been obsessed with them. So I know it's not my normal content, but if you've been with me for a while, I have actually... I started this channel out doing things more like general crafting and a lot of planner videos. So some of you may still be here. Um, it's kind of hard on a YouTube channel to do a big variety of things because a lot of you subscribe for one main reason. So let me know down below if you don't mind seeing these videos. Um, I mean, I'll be able to tell by the views, but I love your feedback. All right, I am starting out by using a Tim Holtz stencil. It's like a botanical kind of image with some Distress Oxide inks. I'm using three different colors, a purple, a blue, and a teal. Um, I used the same sponge for all three colors, so they kind of got a little muddy, but that's okay. I just wanted to create a kind of simple background that I could easily write over. So I'm just taking my sponge and simply going over that uh, stencil with the inks. And I really love this stencil. This is probably one of my most used stencils, but here are the three colors that I use. Wilted Violet, uh, so, yeah, I forgot. Hopefully you got those down if you are wanting to um, get those inks. Okay, so I have this little tray of some of my favorite ephemera pieces I usually set aside when I come across like an ephemera pack that I buy or through Happy Mail. I try to set my favorite pieces in that tray because then when I'm doing a project like this, it's easy to go through and I know that I like everything that's in it. I definitely recommend doing that. It can be really hard to organize your ephemera pieces and hopefully here soon I'll get a little bit of time to organize my craft area again. I have a craft tour kind of thing on my channel um, showing my craft closet but it's a little old and so I need to update that but anyways I am going through and picking a few pieces and really I just want to create a little bit of layering. I had that botanical page and I went ahead and just cut out one of the um, here we go. I cut out one of the images and it's just a really simple way to kind of make your own embellishments. So I'm just going to take some of those pieces that I like and start stacking them on. I'm going to ink up the edges after I tear off a piece of this here. Um, this was like a printable and to be honest I've had it for so long I can't quite remember which site I got it from. But one of my favorite places to print free, like copyright free images is the Graphic Fairy. And it's free. Um, she does have an option where you can, I think, pay $10 a month for a membership that gives you access to a lot more. Which I did for such a long time when I was actually like working doing craft videos every day and I highly recommend it if you are into making journals because $10 a month to get all of the free printables that you can think of is a really good deal. Now it's not like journal pages usually it's more like um, embellishments and things like that but there might be uh, maybe there are journal pages too I, I didn't really use it to the full extent anyways. Um, have you guys been watching a lot of these creative journaling videos on YouTube? Chances are maybe you have if you are here on my video. A lot of people actually use traveler's notebooks um, to do this, but it's, it's literally the same idea. So if you are wanting to try this out and say you don't have a traveler's notebook, I definitely inspire, hope that I can inspire you to just use whatever planner you have. That's why I just grabbed what I had and I was like, you know what, this might not have the most space for a bunch of bulk, but I'm just going to try it and I kind of 
am hoping that I can turn my planner a little bit more into more of a memory keeping um, journal as well. So what I've been doing is decorating the a few spreads at a time like I'm doing here just when I really need to craft and you'll see this only takes me about 10 minutes um, and when I'm not filming it takes me about five just to glue down a few fun little pieces here and there that you can write around and it's just a way to get a little bit of creativeness flowing and to play with some paper which is something that I love doing and just lately I, I have literally no time for crafting but I can take five minutes to do something quick like this while Hans is holding Arlo or while she's maybe happily bouncing in her little bouncer or something like that so as you can see like I said I'm just layering up some pieces I mean there's really no rhyme or reason and that's kind of the fun thing about doing this creative journaling in your own planner is it's not a journal for someone else, so you do not need to be perfect around it. Even if you are a perfectionist, I urge you to just try and put that behind you and just play with some things that you really like. It can even be stamps and stencils like I showed you in the beginning. Washi tape like I'm doing right here. Um, this is a really fun washi tape that I believe I got from Happy Mail, so I'm sorry I don't remember where it's from. Um, yeah, I don't even remember who it's from, but I got it in Happy Mail, I think. So, yeah, I know that we, all of us, have so much washi tape, pretty washi tapes that we never use, and this is a really, even if you just wanted to take your washi tape and line your days of the week in your planner, something like that, that's a great way to do it. Um, I've also seen a lot of people do this, the creative journaling in more of a writing journal so if you're someone who likes to write <laughs> you can um do this same exact thing in a journal and then just write around your pieces it's just really fun i don't have a lot to write down in my planner mostly just appointments for my kids or a few random things in here here and there which is kind of why i thought you know what i want to use this a little bit more to even write down things like um, my electric bill is due and things like that because I think it's so fun to look back on even things like that um, but I have been also writing down little memories especially with my daughter Arlo being a about six months now she's doing so many new things and it's easy enough to think oh I'm gonna remember what, what how old she was when she first rolled but come a year later you really don't remember those little things and even with your own self Maybe you had a really good day, and it's kind of fun to document that in your planner, and you can just do it very quickly. <laughs> She's in my arms right now and being kind of crazy. Okay, so I got this sticker sheet from Tuesday morning in my recent haul video, and this is something that I usually hoard, and I do not use stickers very often, but I got these because they were so pretty, and I thought, you know what, I'm actually going to use these. So I know I'm not talking a lot about my process here. I'm just kind of blabbering on to you guys. I had my coffee this morning and I'm feeling sick and I probably got like three hours of sleep last night but I'm feeling pretty good because the sun is shining. But yeah I, I mean you can see what I'm doing. I'm literally just picking things I like kind of layering it up but not overthinking it like I typically do in my crafting but really not overthinking it with this. I do try to avoid using staples in my actual planner just because that does make it a little hard to write on the opposite pages and I might staple you know over some words on the, the recent pages but I, I might use a staple here and there. Other than that I try to use staples on the actual embellishments that I'm putting into the journal and then I will glue those down. Hopefully that makes sense. And if you are wondering, in case I didn't mention it before, I do usually decorate a couple spreads ahead of the actual week that I am in just because I know I'm not always going to get time to do this when I'm in that current week. <laughs> so, um, and I don't really think out where I am putting the different pieces because again, I said I don't have a lot to write down so I only need a small space to write things in 
if I knew I was going to have a really busy day or something like that, I might keep that space a little bit more free. So here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.